What is up, everybody? Welcome to our fireside chat. Tonight we have a very special partner. He was our very first ever Ignite partner with us tonight. He's all the way from Ireland, so it's like one in the morning where he is. So he's kind I have of have to keep it down. I have to keep it down, folks. Yeah, he's hung up <laughs> in his little office space trying to be quiet, not wake up the rest of the house. But Leaks, how are you doing? Tell us how I, it's been. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I uh I don't know. I've been just chilling lately. I haven't been streaming too much, but uh I I've been back on the grind recently, so so it's all going good. It's all going good. So let's go ahead and start off talking about your general stream. Tell everyone real quick where they can find you on social media and on uh, Twitch and everything like that. So it's, uh, it's TTV slash SS Leaks. And then all my socials are the same. And uh, I, I've been playing a lot of different games recently. Got into Destiny 2 today. And I think I think for the next while, that is what the game will be. So if anyone's stopping by, just expect some Destiny. A bit of Valorant as well, possibly. But that, that's all, really. That's all. I uh, Probably a bit of Call of Duty again, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm not 100%. Are you uh, playing mainly ranked in Valorant, unranked? What are you into? Ranked, uh, ranked in Valorant. I, I really don't see a point in playing unranked in Valorant. With, with yeah. how long a game is, I really don't think there's a point in playing unrated. I think it's all, it, it has to be rated. That, that's Do what you I have think your uh, your go to five stack. Are you solo queuing this out yourself? How's it going? Uh, just it's me and Sully. Me and Sully mostly that we be playing. It's it's me and him. We'll we'll just go into games, try and find some more people. But it's mostly me and Sully. I, I gotta ask, not to put you on the spot. What's your rank right now? <laughs> <laughs> I've been stuck. Ooh. I've been stuck uh, yeah. in bronze tree. The oh, the ranking no. system in Valorant isn't good. Like I feel like I can <laughs> win a game and then I lose like three. And it's just that over and over again. So I've been stuck in in Bronze Tree for Jesus since since the act started, actually, which is wow. it's disappointing, disappointing. But I'm getting better, so it's not it's not too bad. And you technically play on EU servers, then, right? Yeah, yeah, it's EU servers. I know that EU Counter Strike also is very competitive, so I imagine it is, the it's uh, scene. It is. It's like that. That's what I mean. With like, I can have one really good game where like I, I top frag. I, I even get match MVP, and then the next like three games, it's just people that are absolutely insane. I get destroyed. It's just yep. simple as that. I had that experience as well in Valorant. For me, the issue with Valorant right off the bat was just the the new content wasn't coming out quick enough. Now a lot of content's yeah. come out. Now I'm behind. So now, of course, if I get in the game, yeah. then I get smacked for several games straight There's, before I can even enjoy I think it again. Every update, a gun gets changed, and and just shooting gets changed in general. So I feel like every update you need to relearn the weapons, which is the most frustrating part for me. I think it's just it's just like you know you could you could spend two weeks learning how the, the fire on the vandal works and that just gets reworked it's just it's frustrating definitely definitely all right so next up let's talk about your current stream setup tell us about this fancy microphone your chair your okay, computer okay. so I, I actually have the the same microphone that's been given away and i'd highly recommend it it's a very very good microphone uh i just recently custom built my keyboard so it's really yeah it's gator on ink black switches they sound can amazing. you lift it up for us? I can. It's it's a custom size, so like you can't really buy this size, which makes it even nicer. It's an ID80. I've uh, Sasuke Uchiha themed, so some people that watch Naruto will know what I mean. Yeah, I'm using the G Pro mod, the G Pro wireless, and it's 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 amazing. I would highly highly recommend it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm currently rebuilding my PC, just upgrading stuff. So uh, uh, did I see on TikTok that you accidentally like bought the wrong part or something? What, what brought, happened? Okay. So for some reason, NZXT make two different versions of their AIO. One with a GIF and one without a GIF. I, I opted for the one with the GIF. I didn't know there was one that didn't have it. So after buying it and waiting for ages on it and it came, set the whole thing up with no, no post. In t like I didn't know at all how to set this up. So it took a while. And then I found out that it didn't have a GIF. And oh. I was just, I was oh, so disappointed no. because to ship it back with the new EU deal, the whole Brexit, it would cost me more money to send it back and buy the, buy the gift one than it cost me to originally buy this one, which is disappointing, but it's still beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a gorgeous AIO. It, it looks just, very nice. It's just, yeah. I had, I had a picture for a different one. It was just, it was just upsetting to say the least, but it, it, it's all good now. It's all good now. So run us through your uh, computer specs right now. I know when I first fo started following you, you did a whole lot of upgrades to it. So yeah, what's yeah. Like now? So uh, for streaming, primarily, I upgraded to the, the Ryzen 7 3700X, 
which is it's beautiful. Like it just it works perfect for streaming. I uh, I started with a 1050 Ti, which wasn't ideal for the games I wanted to stream. So uh, I'm currently using a 1660 Super, but I'm eventually going to upgrade that to a 30 series card when they're they're more purchasable because they're just they're, the price is crazy at the minute. I yeah. I also want to upgrade the the motherboard. I have a B450F from ROG. I want to get the the B550A. I think I think that would work a lot better with the graphics card. And I just upgraded the case as well. I had a NZXT H510, I believe it was, and it's just it wasn't ideal for airflow. So I I now have the the Corsair 4000X, and it's just amazing. It looks beautiful, and I think it houses everything perfectly. And then of course the the NZXT X63. So very nice. It's it's looking well. It's looking well. I can't lie. So and then you said the microphone. You got one of the Elgato yeah. Wave mics. Yeah. Your chair. What are you sitting in right now? Everyone um, knows that's most important. I just I just upgraded this actually because I I had a had a chair for maybe two and a half three years possibly. So at that stage I was I was just sitting on wood. So I I had to upgrade. This was on sale. It's a it's an X Rocker chair. I'm not sure if X Rocker is. I know it's I know it's a UK brand. Like it's big in the UK. I'm not sure about anywhere else. It's big enough in Ireland, and uh, the comfort's amazing. It really is. Uh, it's a lot better than what I was working with before. <laughs> it, it's a lot better. And what do you got for your headphones? These are the Corsair. No, not Corsair. Sorry, uh, HyperX Cloud Twos. I think it is. I want to. I want to upgrade to the the wireless version of these because they're just they they feel amazing. They're perfect. So I, I think the only upgrade I do to these is the wireless version. Gotcha. And then last but not least, what kind of camera are you using? I know you've switched a couple of times uh, over the stream as well. This is a wide angle webcam. It's just called Trust HD. Uh, it, it, was, it was cheap, but it, it's very good for the price, I think. Uh, very nice. It's a nice wide angle. I mean, it, it nearly gets all my room in the, in the angle. So uh, I, I don't know the exact model, but I know, I know it was on sale. It only cost me 20 euros, so maybe $18. So... For that oh, price, wow. you, you really can't complain. I think, I think it's very, very nice. All right, moving into our next topic. Why did you decide to start streaming? Sometimes people are inspired by okay. other streamers. Sometimes they just want to go for it. What's your reason? So, like, I always, like, I have always wanted to make content, like, in, in some way from, from watching FaZe, like, back in the day, like, watching, watching Black Ops 2 and everything. I, I always wanted to do it, but I, I never really... You know, I never felt comfortable enough to do so. I always felt like someone would judge some way or another. And then with COVID, I kind of had that like self-reflection. Kind of realized like, who cares what people think? So uh, I don't think I'd be streaming if it wasn't for COVID at all. So uh, I think it was really just the self-reflection and always wanting to do so. It was just that push. It gave me that push to, to finally do so. That's awesome. Yeah. And so you started streaming uh, kind of because of COVID then, almost because it made you just realize I'm going to do it. Yeah, definitely. That's really when did awesome. You start You're streaming out of curiosity. Oh. From, sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties. Can uh, we're gonna repeat exactly why uh, leaks? Okay, okay. So, uh, I I was really just playing games in lockdown anyway, and like I always wanted to. I was always watching people from from Phase to to lots of just content creators growing up. It always gave me that want to, but I I never really got that push till COVID. To like I realized who cares what people think, and I. Uh, I was playing the games anyway, just sitting down. So I just, I decided to just download Streamlabs and and go live one night. And I mean, we're we're here now, so it hasn't been too bad. Yeah. And when did you start streaming? Roughly, roughly seven ish months ago now, around maybe September ish. Because I remember when we had stumbled across your channel, we couldn't believe that it was relatively new for people on Twitch. Yeah. You, oh, you had a community, you had a following, and like. Tons of people that were already dedicated to your channel. That it, I think, not, uh, like, it was just crazy. Yeah, I think the best thing I done there was I like I didn't even know that it was such a small viewing. I didn't know there was such a small viewership on Crunker. 
it was just it was the game I was playing because I, I was burnt out of Call of Duty at this stage. So I was just playing that in my spare time. And then I, I came to realize that, you know, it, it would bring a lot of people in. And I enjoyed the game anyway. So it kind of worked perfect in that sense. Mm. I, I remembered stumbling across uh, and you were playing Crunker the first time I saw you. And I was like, why is he playing this in the browser shooter yeah. game? Because I used to play it back in the day. And I was like, this is such a weird game. But surely enough, you were doing well in the yeah. category. And like, and it was very you, you enjoyable. Found a following also. because of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, you could tell you were having fun playing it. Yeah. Because it's, it's just for anyone who doesn't know, it's like a like Roblox meets Call of Duty kind of thing where it's, yeah, it's just like, basically like, like a Minecraft. The, yeah, originally, it was supposed to be like a, a Minecraft CSGO type game. But then people yeah. realized that there was ways to get a faster pace in it. And it just kind of took off from there. Something I think most of our streamers, and I know I myself, really admire about you and your stream is you are the number one person at talking to chat and still being able to play a game at a decently high level at the same I wouldn't time. Say, I wouldn't say be able to play the game. Like I, <laughs> I, I make it look like I can play the game, but I, for the you most have part, to I can't tell really. us. What are your secrets? It's like you're looking directly at the chat and playing the game out of your peripheral vision, I swear. It's almost like you're so, constantly in conversation. I'm Irish. And, like, <laughs> I just talk so much anyway. <laughs> so, like, I, I, for the most part, I just kind of talk about crap. I love anime, so I'll just go off on a, ta a tangent about anime for, like, 20 minutes, then pick up and just, I don't know, it just it works really well. I can, I can just keep the flow, I guess. I don't know how I do it. I just kind of talk crap for a while and it works pretty much. Do you have Every a time... second monitor with your chat yeah, on it? Yeah. And where so, is uh, that located at? So this is my secondary monitor. My primary monitor is here. So sometimes when I'm reading chat, I keep the, the screen up on on Streamlabs. So sometimes when I'm reading chat, in, in the corner of my eye, I can see from Streamlabs what I'm doing in game. And for that reason, it kind of, you know, for, for, a, longer, for a longer message, that makes it that bit easier. Yeah. Very nice. I, what amazed me is I would go in, and if I ever messaged, within like 10 seconds, you would respond. Yeah. And I think that like you're not the, – the big difference is I've watched people who do just talk crap while they're streaming. You like genuinely engage and can have – and I think what's yeah. also wild is you can play the game and have several conversations with multiple people all, all at once. That, that's I, I that's have what I think issue. is the most impressive. Yeah, I have this issue that uh, if I'm talking to someone and I see a new chat – I'll stop the original conversation, go on to the, the newest chat, talk about that, and then go back to the last It's so much fun to watch, though. It's so <laughs> much fun to watch. I, uh, sometimes I look back at my VODs and, and kind of think, like, how the hell am I doing this? But, I mean, it works, so I guess I can't complain. I'm excited to see the day where your chat gets so busy that you're going to have trouble finally well, getting there. I'm wondering what actually, the tipping yeah, point is. I, I got raided maybe two days ago by by a streamer and it, it, it was a big enough raid we had people in i actually hit my peak viewers and i i just i was missing every chat like i was <laughs> overwhelmed i really didn't know because i was already in awe that that we got the raid and then colin also gifted subs so i was broken and i really i i didn't i couldn't i couldn't quote cooper it i just i couldn't do so and uh that was the first breaking point i think for me on twitch that is awesome Moving along, uh, I think we talked about this a little bit at the beginning, but what are some games that you're currently playing and streaming? Are there any games that you play off stream and why would you play it off stream versus on stream? I've been playing, I think I've been playing more of Valorant off stream than, than on stream, just for the fact that like multitasking in Valorant makes it very tricky. It makes me kind of lose focus on the game. I feel like Valorant's one of them games where you really need full focus. And uh, I've been playing a lot of that with Oshin off stream. That's it's probably the game I've been playing most off stream. I played a bit of Cold War actually yesterday off stream as well, and that just it, it didn't work. But uh, that's really it. I've been playing Destiny too. I, I started that today, and I feel like that's the game I'll be playing now for the for for the foreseeable future anyway. Because I feel like it's a game where I don't really need to sweat, like quote unquote sweat as much. I can sit back, yeah. relax, and enjoy the game. And that's very that's, quick. Before yeah. we move on, Ben Ball is curious. What was your max viewers during it was, that run? It was forty. And I, forty viewers. Yeah, I, I, was, I was quite happy with that. I was, I was very happy. That is awesome. Congratulations on that. 
Um, moving on, is there any streamers that you specifically use as inspiration or that got you into streaming? Uh, you know, you mentioned FaZe. Is there anybody else? Well, you know, I, I, I used to have all the FaZe members. I still love Jev. Like, Jev is someone I definitely look up to from FaZe. Like, I look up, up to him a lot. Uh, I'd have to say Ninja as well. I, like, I really... A, a very... A question you don't... Like, an answer you don't hear much. But I, I really look up to Ninja. I love I love what he's done. So, uh, I'd have to say them two. Them two would be... Uh, Definitely my two biggest inspirations for, for content creation. Very nice. So in the future, where do you see your stream heading, future content that you're trying to create? What do you feel like is the next step for you, your brand? What's your kind of goals going forward? I, I, I've been seeing like with my most recent two TikToks, I've seen very good reception. I feel like uh, I definitely want to try and get into that in some way if it's with the computers or stuff like that. I love I love building computers. I love that type of aspect. So even if it's to do with that or anything really TikTok, I definitely want to try and get more on, on YouTube. I want to make actual YouTube videos also and not just VODs. Like I want to be able to, you know, have YouTube videos going up with VODs also if they're, you know, nicely done. But uh, that's them too, I think. Uh, like if I get a good video for youtube that'll definitely go up but i want to make actual like sit down with a youtube audience type videos so i think they're the two main things that i i need to go for also colin i've been trying to teach myself how to um make thumbnails so once i've learned how to make a thumbnail i will uh the youtube video will go up because i feel like that's one thing that with youtube i've really been slack and i've just been kind of putting up a random cover to the video so i want to teach myself how to make proper thumbnails that's that's my main goal for for youtube right now that's awesome yeah we, we've talked before about all the random skills you learn by being a streamer you know yeah. now we all know how to use streaming software how to do lighting microphones everything just everything you learn that's completely random about, about being a streamer making a recording a TikTok, clipping videos yeah. making videos thumbnails all of that that you talk about it's really interesting the wide variety of skills that you have to learn yeah. just to be at it's that not, kind it's of not, entry level. It's not. It takes a lot of time. I uh, while we kind of wait, I think Aaron might. Yeah, we we might have just lost, lost leaks. One of the things. Oh, did everybody just go? Did I also just lose? Nope, you're still here. You're still there. All right. Uh, I also think one of the things about Am streaming I... that. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, okay, sorry. you're back. You're back. Okay, okay, but, okay. Yeah. If I I don't know when you cut out, but uh, Emin, if you want to re-say that, then we can go from there. Yeah, just all of the different things that you have to learn about while you're trying to become a streamer. The entry level so high now, you have to to learn all kinds yeah. of different skills. Like I feel like uh, for my first probably two months streaming, my my original webcam, I didn't have a microphone, so I was using the the microphone on a cheap webcam. It was still very good, but uh, the webcam quality was horrible. And uh, every two or so hours, the the webcam would just shut off. And it would stop working so no one could hear or see me and uh when that happened i didn't know how to fix it so i'd have to end the stream and back then with crunker like you know i had a uh, certain people come back but you know we'd say if i had four people in probably like two would come back and one would be jess so uh <laughs> for for a while it was a big learning curve and i had to teach myself and see why that was happening so uh i i think i've learned a lot in that type of aspect with with the streaming definitely uh, moving on to our final thing, what are some final tips that you would give other streamers that are trying to grow from nothing and anything that you found helped you have a lot of success? I feel like definitely don't compare yourself to other streams. You know, don't put yourself saying, I want to be Ninja or I, I want Ninja's viewers. Like that's something that at first I was kind of, I, I had, and I think a lot of people will have these massive expectations thinking, it's it's just it'll come you you see this good day and every day is going to be like that afterward and it's just you have to come to the realization that that definitely isn't the case but it's all definitely possible like you can really I feel like if you put the work in you can definitely make it to the place you want to be it's just it takes time it doesn't happen overnight that's that's the best advice i can give that's awesome very very important so Wrapping this up, I think, Jacob, you have a couple things you want to talk about, but we're going to be uh, moving into our Q&A section after that. So go ahead and start thinking about and typing in your questions uh, for leaks here. And Jacob's going to go over a couple very important things.
Yeah, so first of all, thank you everyone who has already gotten some merch from our Fireside collection. We've just kind of finished this. Or this will be the sixth episode now, which has been awesome. We have a shirt that kind of features uh, sort of like a concert set list, basically. It's our first six episodes. Uh, we, we're basically doing that on, if you click on our link in our link tree, you can go. It's also shop.ignite.gg. It's an eight-piece collection that we love. We spent a lot of time working on it. And then the second thing, because people who follow us on Instagram, Twitter, you saw... The secret code, the way you're going to do it is to get to the Gleam giveaway. We have a link in the link tree as well. It's the top one on that. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit, it'll be secret code from Twitch, I believe. And the secret code is mountain. So just mount, M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N, sing, singular mountain. Um, so thank you everyone who is here because you're going to get five more entries to win that Wave Echo 3, which uh, same microphone that Leaks has. It, they are awesome microphones. That will be wrapping recommend. up in they're awesome so in six days that will be uh the giveaway will be over then we're going to randomly draw based off of a, a single entry uh and that's basically it so thank you everyone for coming out for to get the secret code as well and we're planning on announcing the winner on our next fireside chat and uh, that monday exactly we'll also say who yeah. the winner is on all of our social but if you want to figure out who it is first make sure you're here for the next fireside to figure out who won yes i I believe the official, like the first announcement is going to be that Monday, eight, eight o'clock Eastern time live here is, is what the current plan is. And then it'll roll out onto social media. So we'll see. All right. Uh, Brian has the first question. He asked, what is your favorite shooter? I'm going to assume that he's talking about game, not the drink, but you can answer. both. <laughs> I, if you like. I have to say like, it's more than likely Call of Duty, just not at this current moment. It's it's the it's the shooter I've played for, you know, for the most time. I I've like tried to get into Battlefield stuff like that. It never really worked. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say it, it's COD. Not not like this COD, but like COD is a genre. It, it would definitely be. Also, what is a shooter drink? A we, shooter we is say- like. It's not just a shot. It's normally about double shot volume, but it's normally like super sweet, kind of fruity. Normally, I I only drink, drink in Guinness. general would be good. Yeah, I okay. I'll, <laughs> I, it'd have to be Guinness. I I don't drink spirits or anything like that. I can't. I can't stomach them. Like the only is, is, the only drink I would drink is Guinness. Is it's Guinness the like the, the actual brand, or is that so? So Guinness is a brand. Yeah, for, Guinness is a brand, but like okay, was... Guinness is the only like it's the drink also like the. The brand yeah, yeah. is Guinness, and yeah. I, I was curious if like Guinness is what you would call like how people in the north call like pop soda stuff like that. So that makes okay. sense. So <laughs> actually, Guinness the beer, like the dark yeah, yeah, black they, beer. They, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I apologize for the for the confusion, folks. No, no, no. I I, I know of Guinness. I, I was just curious, like if that's it's kind not of a... nasty. <laughs> so you know he asks, the, have like... you ever read the Bible? Yeah, I, every night I read the entire thing every night. Okay. <laughs> Just, yep. okay. Can someone gonna... supply leaks with some flaming hot Cheetos? Are you not able to get those there or something? No, <laughs> no, you can't get them in Ireland. Oh, uh, what? To import You're one out. bag, to to import one bag is forty five euro, which is just horrible. All right, we yeah. might we might send you some. I I wouldn't I wouldn't complain. I I wouldn't be complaining. That's what Jeff. Yes, asks, I am. What is uh, who or who is your favorite Irish person? Favorite Irish person? That's. I'd have to say my mom, to be honest. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, that I, answer. I, I, that was. <laughs> well, like, I think the cliche thing to say would be like Conor McGregor or something yeah. like that. It's most definitely not. Like, I don't know. There's not much like crazy stuff going on here, for for that. I think like. The most known Irish person anyway would be Conor McGregor. It's, it's most definitely not him. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you already answered the leprechaun. You are indeed a leprechaun. Are, do you have any plans for St. Patrick's Day? Speaking of that, that's coming up. I feel like you got to do something crazy, right? No, not really. Because like I feel like in Ireland, St. Patrick's Day is just an excuse to get hammered and just start a fight <laughs> somewhere and i just same thing here in the states <laughs> and I, I i really truly uh i'm i'm not bothered for it to be honest i never really have been i'm not someone that likes like all that 
crazy stuff. I'm very, I'm very quiet. And uh, I just usually, like, you know, something small maybe, but with lockdown, more than likely nothing really. Ben is asking, do you have a Premier League team? It have to be Manchester United. It always has been since since birth, Manchester United. <laughs> uh, let me see. Next, we had Brian asking, how locked down is Ireland right now? We're in level five restrictions. So, like, that's... That sounds high. Barbers, anything like that. Just, uh, just grocery shops and... Uh, the clothes aren't even on sale at the minute because it's not essential. It's only essential items that can be sold currently. And uh, it's been like that. It just keeps getting pushed. We'll be in that till around May, the middle of May. So it's, it's, it's fairly bad. Wow. I assume this is some sort of inside joke. Sully asks, have Zamzam told you where your kids are? <laughs> no, I <laughs> should no. I've I've been waiting for for four weeks now and I I haven't got any response. (laughs) Swift wants to know who your favorite is, her or King Kaiser, and why is it Swift Fox? (laughs) (laughs) Me on the spot like this, Swift. I can't I can't break Kaiser's heart. I I I guess I don't know. I don't know. I can't I can't say. Can't say. (laughs) Here's an interesting question. Ben is wondering: Do you guys get stimulus checks there? That's a big thing here in the states. Do you guys get any kind of government assistance during this kind of nonsense? Um, we are our cars and uh, gas and stuff like that is very expensive in Ireland because of how much is given on a stimulus check. So currently, I'm on it's a pandemic payment. Uh, I've been on that since lockdown started, and uh, that is it, it's it's fairly helped me to be honest, John during a time like this that's very interesting it's been a huge debate here in the united states you know it was a big deal with our election and everything so it's very interesting for us to hear what is actually going on in different countries so that's very cool. yeah i feel like uh ireland ireland i've heard anyway has one of the most like the, the highest payments because but for that reason like taxes and all are fairly like fairly high here Gotcha. Sully wants to know if you plan to go pro in any games. Do you know, like, honestly, I'd love to. I just don't feel like I, I, I'm just, I'm not mechanically there to be able to. And I feel like no matter how much work I put into games, I get to a certain point in that game and then I can't progress anymore, which is, is very frustrating. Uh, Wolfpack is a very important question asking, uh, where's the gold? I can't tell you that. If if I told you that, then everyone would be looking for it. <laughs> All right, guys. If you have any absolute final questions, go ahead and send them now. Otherwise, we'll be moving to wrap things up. Uh, Lynx, thank you thank very you much so for much. coming on. Yeah, for having me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, fun. Wait. Was it everything you dreamed it would be? You know what? I I, I expected to be a lot more nervous than than I actually was. So I, I can't awesome. complain. That, that's what everyone has said. Lethal, Swift, they all said the same thing, that they were, you did, you feel nervous coming on this, even yeah. though you're streaming all the time, but this does feel different. It does. It's it's different. I've never really done anything like this. So, like, yes. it, wasn't, it wasn't a bad first time. I can't complain. I really can't. So, as always, at the end of these, we try and raid somebody that's live in the Ignite Discord. So, I'm going to give you guys some options. We have Valheim, uh, Minecraft, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, Smite, Valorant, and Valorant. What are you guys thinking? What kind of game do you guys want to see next? Who do you want to support out of the live people in the Ignite Discord? What are you guys thinking? We got to vote for the Roller Coaster Tycoon. We have already raided that guy, though. Does anyone have anything else? Valheim's pretty cool. It's like a new survival game. I've been watching people play it. Yeah, I, I've seen that. I don't know what it's like. If if you like open world survival kind of games, like your Minecraft kind of feel, it's like that except cooler combat and health mechanics and stuff. Is Kaiser live right now? I don't think he gets the live now notification because he streams right off a of console. Let me see if he is live. He's yes. always been a huge supporter from us. If he is, we'll go ahead and raid him. Let's see, Warzone. Yep, he is live. Oh, Let's perfect. try and raid this guy. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will be back uh, next Monday, 8 o'clock Eastern time.
Yes. Talk about the uh, stuff we made. It probably talking ads because we've been making moves on that. So yeah, lots going on there. Yeah. All right, guys, the raid is starting. Thank you again so much for coming by. King Kaiser has always helped us out a ton, and he has a huge community of his own. Please go show all your love and support. I will see you guys next Monday. All right, we raided. Cut it off, Colin. <laughs> and the stream. <laughs>